Hello, my name is Peter West with West Networks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a branch site in less than five minutes. And we're gonna use the new Peplink Balance 30. It is a branch office router, has four PoE ports if you have a 48 volt power adapter. It supports two WAN interfaces and redundant cellular interfaces, but it's only one at a time. So it's a single cellular, but has two SIM card support. What's nice about the Balance 30 Pro is that it also includes Speed Fusion VPN. So you can actually enable bonding um, with your, with your v router. So this will allow you to have session persistence um, right out of the box for hot failover of your VoIP phones or connectivity back to your network. So this router is currently not configured. It's not set up in my cloud. And so I'm gonna go over the setup work that I did to prepare to deploy sites in less than five minutes. And so when I'm looking at my computer here, I'm on my in-control platform. And so I have my Fusion Hub. Now that is set up in Microsoft Azure with a VPN or Speed Fusion VPN to my data center where my 3CX phone system is sitting. I have a Yealink phone here that is connected to my Balance 30 with a PoE cable. Once again, this is not in in control yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up here in just a few seconds. Um, I already have a Pe Peplink Balance 30 that's sitting in my Hong Kong facility. And you can see here from the map that I have my Fusion Hub sitting in somewhere around the Maryland area. And then I have a my Hong Kong Balance 30 router. In order to make deployments quick and easy, we use in control and the management features that it has. So we're gonna use a couple different features. Um, one, I have some custom Speed Fusion configurations in the Fusion Hub and my data center router. So I don't wanna use in control to force uh, Speed Fusion VPNs. This could be done even easier by taking advantage of the Speed Fusion VPN features. So the first thing we need to do is import and add our IP address that we're gonna use for the router. So in order to do that, I need to go to the dashboard and I need to add the router serial number. So I'm gonna hit add devices. I'm gonna snag the serial number of the router. I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna give a tag and I'm gonna let it know that it's my branch office. By giving it the branch tag, it's gonna to know to load the, the guest VLAN as well as the default configuration that I have programmed and put into in control. So when the router connects to in control, it's going to download a default configuration file that I've already built for all the routers that have the branch tag. That's going to tell it what VPN profile to use, how to prioritize the cellular, the backup cellular, and the default firewall settings, which right now is just allow. And hit next. I'm going to give it a name. Gainesville, Florida. Hit continue. There we go. Now I'm gonna to go to settings and device IP settings. And here I'm gonna add my CSV file um, with the new IP address. So here's my Excel file opened up in CSV. So I'm gonna highlight and copy and paste all that. Paste it in here. This is gonna now have both of my routers, my Hong Kong router and my Gainesville, Florida branch router. I'm gonna import that in and you can see it says IP saved. Now the other thing that I've done pre this video is I, my Hong Kong router, I saved the configuration file and I loaded it into the bulk configurator. And so what that does is it says any router that's a balanced 30 um, pro with a, with a tag branch, go ahead and apply this setting and maintain the VPN settings. This way it, it already downloads all of the VPN settings that I need it to work in, in the network. And then it'll load those files. So I go back to my dashboard and you can see there's my Gainesville Florida router tagged with branch. It's been online for a minute. So I can click on this router and I can see that it downloaded the IP scheme that I've set up. It's connected to the internet. It put the AT&T internet as a standby mode. Let's see if our VPN is established. I'm gonna log into my Fusion Hub and I can see my branch sites has two VPNs. So if I click status, I can see that I have my Gainesville, Florida branch site with the uh, 10.254.100. And I can see that I have my Hong Kong site with 10.254.101. Now I'm gonna see if my phone is working with my cable modem internet. 
and then I'm going to unplug the internet and have it fail over to my AT&T and Verizon cellular provided by Global Gig. Hi, this is Peter. I'm testing my speed fusion bonding. So the v, the phone is being powered by the Balance 30. So this makes it really easy to remotely deploy a network, especially a small network, because I can plug this phone right in here, as long as you have the 48 volt power adapter upgrade kit. Um, and then I have my cable modem plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start counting to 10. And Amber is gonna tell me how, or I'm gonna count to 15. And Amber's gonna tell me what numbers were missed. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna unplug the internet, the router's gonna detect the outage, and it's gonna fail over to the cellular connection. Remember, the cellular connection is, if I show here, is actually in standby mode. So it means there is gonna be a few seconds of quiet. If I made the cellular connection in active mode, it would use more bandwidth, but it would actually fail over without any loss of packets. Um, but due to this, I wanna show that even though the cellular connection is standby, the phone will not drop the call. Okay, so I'm gonna start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hopefully she's still there. 16. I lost you at five and I got you back at seven. Oh, look at that. So we lost two seconds of, of, of audio. Uh, while it transferred from the cable modem over to the cellular. So now I'm gonna swap back from the cellular back to the cable. So let's do this now. Now in this, the cable, let's pretend the cable's now, I mean, it's gonna be detected pretty quickly. So the cellular's already active. So we should lose very little. I'm gonna guess one number. So I'm gonna plug it back in at five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How do I do, Amber? I lost no numbers. Excellent. Um, so we, we went from the cable modem over to the cellular connection and back to the cable modem. Now the way this is set up is the this Balance 30 Pro is connecting to my Fusion Hub that's up in the cloud in Azure. And then it failed over from my Cox cable modem it failed over to my global gig provided AT&T SIM card. That Fusion Hub, it connects to my data center via twin fiber optic internet connections. So it's bonding two 500 meg fiber connections. And then inside that data center is a 3CX voice over IP server. Um, and so Amber is connected directly to that voice over IP server in the data center uh, connection. And I'm connecting via this Yealink phone over the Balance 30 Pro. And this is how you can set up a branch office with voice over IP in under five minutes using the Balance 30 Pro and Fusion Hub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amber.